let's learn how to make a wavy stacked text effect in Kittle right now. So here we are in the editor and I'm going to add some text by hitting the T key, which will instantly add some text. I'm gonna go ahead and type in groovy. Uh, it's gonna be fitting for this tutorial. I'm gonna make it this nice orange yellow color and I'm going to select sunny drop. One tip on making this kind of effect, always choose a font that's gonna look good curved. Some of them might look a little bit weird if you use a font that's too edged. If I click on this flag transformation right here, you can see that it is going to already apply this wavy effect here. You can make it as intense or as little as you want with the curvature slider right here. You could also go and click on all of the little nodes that you see with the handles there. Um, but I am going to put this to a degree I think looks pretty good, somewhere around 50%, 51%. And then the normal way that you would do this, that, that you see kind of everyone doing, is to duplicate. By the way, you can duplicate by holding the Alt or Option key and dragging, as you can see here. And this would be the normal way, to go and change the color to, you know, offset it. So maybe we have that yellow going to a full orange, going to like a dark red, going to a purple. Okay, and so this is what you see on a lot of different shirts. But it takes up a lot of space, and I think that um, outside of just being redundant, there's a different kind of cool hack you can do to make this a little more interesting. So what I'm going to do is go over to Effects, and I'm going to add the Color Cut Decoration. So I click on that, and you can see some of it has turned gray, because I haven't selected any color. The default color is just gray. So if I zoom in here, you can see that with this distance slider, I can make it as uh, as much as or as little as part of the color for this text. If I go to 100%, it's fully gray or whatever color you decide to make it. I'm going to back this off to around 85%. And I could change the color there, but what I'm going to do is go over into this area, change the gray color to orange. And then what I'm going to do is set the original color to uh, nothing. So I'm going to use this swatch right here with the dash through it, which makes it transparent or just basically takes off that color so that all we have is the effect color showing, which is that orange. And so now you can see it follows the path of the effect here and I can change it to be as little or as much as I want. So again, I'm going to put that back to 85% and you can see we're getting a really cool effect. Now I'm going to duplicate this process several times gradually increasing the amount of cut distance. So you can see here, I'm just increasing it to get this full cut effect and changing some colors. And now you see I have a little bit of a different uh, effect here that's really cool, would look really cool on a t-shirt. As you can see, it's fully transparent below, so you can change the design behind it or the color behind it. And I hope you have a ton of fun coming up with your own words and different designs using this wavy stacked effect.